Hello and welcome back to another YouTube video and in this video I'm going to tell you about what the ID attribute does in HTML. But before we get started don't forget to subscribe because we are very close to 100 subscribers. And yeah that's it without any further ado let's get on into the video. <music> Okay, so let me just make an H1, and I'll call this title, and I'm going to create a paragraph over here, a P tag, and I'll say just some stuff, just some stuff, so that's it. So, now let's talk about what ID really does. The ID attribute, it basically just specifies a unique ID for an HTML element. And the thing is, the ID attribute, it can only be used once. Like, it can be used many times. It's just the same ID cannot be shared between multiple tags. And this really comes into play with CSS and JavaScript. But basically what it does is, h1, I can do ID over here equals quotations. And right over here, I can say header and over here I can do ID equals p1 paragraph 1 if I make let's say this one header as well we're gonna have some problems when this code compiles and when it and when we do CSS and stuff like that because the ID cannot be shared it's basically just an identifier and it's only used for one tag not more and here's just some notes about ID the ID name is case sensitive, so lowercase header and uppercase header, these are two different IDs, and the ID name must contain at least one character, and it, it's basically, all the stuff in here, it's basically normal variable convention, you know, uh, it can't start with a number, it can't contain spaces, tabs, and all that. And yeah, that's basically it. IDs are very simple, and they really aren't used much in HTML, but they're super important when it comes to CSS and JavaScript. So yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.